Rising temperatures in the heart of Texas meant that it was high time for Low Tide City 2022 to make its way over the horizon. In an attempt to catch a wave and ride it to a successful weekend, 561 unique entrants gathered at the Kalahari Resort in Round Rock, Texas for three days of intense competition. With a number of Ultimate's top talents such as MK Leo, Tweak, Gluttony, and Light all opting out of attending, the top eight was left wide open for anyone to secure a place on the stage Sunday evening. Let's break down who made it to the top this weekend and the surprise upsets that took place along the way. Championship Sunday concluded with two of the game's most exciting young players facing off, Cola and Spargo. Rebounding from a tight Game 5 loss to Mutace in winner's quarters, Spargo assumed the form of a shark in the water, sweeping Ned to qualify for top 8, then tearing through Meister, Louis Money, Zamba, DeBuzz, and Cola with a 3-0 to reset the bracket, then a slightly more merciful 3-1 in true finals to take the trophy home. He did it the hard way, too, having to win 12 sets over the course of the weekend in order to secure the the victory. Simply said, the kid had a hot hand, at one point winning 11 consecutive games in top 8 against some of Ultimate's best competition. Also, let the record show that Spargo has yet to place lower than third so far at any event in 2022, and you'd have to go back as far as Smash World Tour Central American Regional Finals to find an event where he didn't place within the top three. Needless to say, Spargo is setting himself up for a big first summer under the FaZe Clan banner. None of this should detract from the accomplishments accomplishments of Cola. Second out of over 500 is nothing to scoff at. Cola weathered choppy waters en route to Grands, narrowly avoiding the dreaded round one pools upset from Lightning Cam playing the role of the regional defender, then proceeding to knock off Suarez, Ned, Johnny, Louis Money, and DeBuzz. Taking the week off after a Genesis 8 run that saw him finish at 7th looked to be the correct play, as he looked refreshed and refined in his play. It's just that sometimes when you're playing well, someone else is playing better. Ever the competitor, Cola is far from satisfied with second place. Expect big things at upcoming events from the game's best Roy. Nobody should be even remotely surprised seeing DeBuzz in the top three of a stacked event anymore. It's kind of been his thing for years now. Plus, he finished second at the inaugural Low Tide City 2021 last October, hosted at the very same resort, so clearly he's comfortable here. DeBuzz picked his opponents apart all weekend with his entire tournament character repertoire, and only dropped one game before top Top 8, a stray to Louisiana's number one player, Jordan. Even when he got to Top 8, DeBuzz still looked comfortable, beating Mutace 3-1 before losing to the eventual runner-up and winner of the event in winners and losers finals respectively, capping off a run that saw him take down Yanni and Meister in addition to the aforementioned Jordan and Mutace. Rounding out the uppercut of Top 8 was another New York powerhouse in Zamba, posting a fourth place in Texas just a week after his fifth at Pound in Maryland, which he did just a week after finishing fifth in California, all at just 16 years old. Wait, don't you have school, kid? Zamba really had to grind out a good performance this weekend, but he gave himself a pretty impressive head start in the winner's bracket with sweeps of Choco Taco and Aaron. After losing a tough fifth game against Louis Money, Zamba defeated Dark Wizzy in order to qualify for top eight, then closed things out against Apollo Kage and Mutace before facing the same fate as many of his peers. Loser's bracket Spargo. Piece by piece, weekend by weekend, the resume of the best Rob player in the world is being built. And if this turn of consistency carries on, we can expect to see Zamba return to the grand stage again soon. Next, we turn our attention to Texas's strongest soldiers, at least for this weekend. First, there's Shattuck, who pushed to ninth place, finishing with a plus two seed performance rating and taking wins over SkyJ, Lima, and Aaron. That marks his second consecutive plus two SPR at a major and ties his collision run where he pulled an upset over Cosmos. With another big run at LTC, he's showing that even as we raise our expectations for the prodigious Corrin, he can keep pushing past them. But the biggest upsets from a Texan this weekend didn't come from Shattuck. They came from... A Fortnite player? Not just any Fortnite player, though. 42nd seed Johnny took the title of Defender personally at Low Tide City 2022, equipping a trio of legendary swords and removing a handful of invaders from the bracket and stockpiling a seed performance rating of plus four. In his run, he took out Big Boss of Mexico in a 3-2 victory, then swept Elegant of SoCal 3-0, before Cola and Apollo Kage collaborated to expel Texas's last hope from the tournament at ninth place. Johnny was one of six players 
players to make top 48 with a seed performance rating of plus three or higher, and every single one of them hailed from Low Tide City's home state of Texas. Seed performance rating measures a player's performance relative to their seed projections. Johnny's plus four, for example, means that he outplaced his projected seed by four rounds in loser's bracket. Zillion, a Robin main who was a constant on the Dallas-Fort Worth power rankings prior to lockdown, made a big splash in his first appearance at a major since Super Smash Con 2019. At Low Tide City 2022, his run took him all the way to 17th place with a plus four SPR. Not only is this his best tournament result of the post-lockdown era, it's arguably his best ever. Zillion's previous best placement in the first two PGRU seasons came at the B-tier DreamHack Dallas 2019, where he also finished 17th with a win on the former top Texas Sheik, Karna. This time though, Zillion took down two of the best Shoto players in the United States, Sandstorm and Iken, before adding a win over Chaco Taco and Losers to round out his run. It may be the first time we've seen this Robin main in ages, but he still knows how to tip the scales. Today's, a Ridley main from Austin, made the biggest waves of pools in his upset win over Goblin, an upset factor seven that remained the largest of the entire tournament upon its completion. A veteran of some of Smash's older titles, this was just today's third ultimate tournament of at least 400 players, and at the previous two, he bowed out at 193rd. Today's has been on the ultimate grind in 2022 though, becoming a top eight regular at Austin locals like Cityscape and Smashvania. On top of his Goblin win, he took down a pair of power-ranked foes in Utah's Splash Daddy and Texas's Chef, showing his big upset wasn't just a one-hit wonder. He would go on to finish 25th and tie both Johnny and Zillion with a plus four SPR. Rounding out the plus four SPRs is Shiny, a Bowser Jr. Hmm, <clears throat> Ludwig von Koopa Main from Loretto, Texas. Shiny has been competing offline since early in Ultimate's life, but last year's Low Tide City, where he finished 193rd, was his first major. According to our database, not only was Low Tide City 2022 Shiny's first major since the previous edition, it was his first offline event period since then. Despite a third round date with Spargo, Shiny was able to rattle off a huge run, winning four <laughs> straight sets in loser's bracket. The big upset came over Indiana top player Mysterica, and Shiny was able to follow that up with a win over a fellow Texan, Ray, a Zelda main who has made multiple appearances on RPG Stats Ultimate Locals winners maps in recent weeks. Loretto's scene is somewhat isolated from the rest of Texas's larger cities, so Shiny's offline appearances may remain few and far between, but don't let him fly under the radar if you see him in your path. Moving down to the plus three line, we have underscore Trey5, one of the many Steves who has been haunting the Texas scene since the character's release. Trey5 has been grinding in the DFW scene, peaking at 9th on their power rankings, but this was his first major appearance since his major debut at last year's Low Tide City, where he finished 33rd with a plus 2 SPR. This year, Trey5 was able to push one round farther to 25th place, and picked up a win over one of Ultimate's biggest rising stars in the process, Colorado 8, the St. Louis Inkling who finished 49th at Glitch Infinite with a win over Raflo. Trey5 wasn't quite able to catch Yanni, who finished 17th, for the title of Top Texas Steve at Low Tide, but this year's edition was a good reminder that when it comes to the talented Steves of Texas, Trey Five isn't too far behind. The last of Texas's top performers is the first to hail from Houston. Zelda main Bonren made a run to 33rd with a plus three seed performance rating, both his best ever marks at a major tournament. His previous peak placing was 65th at Low Tier City 7, although his most impressive run would have to be his 97th out of 1,280 at the immensely stacked Frostbite 2020, where he took out both Salem and Juice before falling to Goma Kempai and Louie Money. Bonren won four straight sets at Low Tide City 2022, taking out Young Bidness, Mystic, and Simon before eliminating Mega Man main Waltz, one of Houston's top players. Bonren may have been coming off of a pair of 257th place finishes at his past two majors, Low Tide City 2021 and Genesis 8, but this just shows not to sleep on a player with wins like Bonren has racked up in the past. Ultimate North America may be ready for a bit of a break after three weeks of continuous action, but things are just heating up in Japan, where multiple huge tournaments will take place over the course of Golden Week, including the upcoming Sebugeki 10 and Kage Ribi 7. Subscribe to PG Stats to keep up with all the overseas action and everything else going on in the world of Smash. Thanks for watching. My name is Last, and you can find me on Twitter at L4ST underscore V1. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.